Hello, so for this video here, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your form from the wheel head. So if you are creating, say, a plate and you are wanting to remove the form from your wheel head to keep, I am going to show you that. So what you're going to need here is your plate that's thrown. You are going to need your wire cutter as well as some water and your sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down here kind of walk you through the process of how to remove a plate off of the wheel head. So first thing and foremost is really make sure your wheel is off. You do not need the wheel on at all during this process of removing it with the wire cutter. So you also need a clay bat, which is this, okay? It has been fired. This is where you're gonna go ahead and put your form on. Now, you do not wanna put your form directly on this. It will stick. So you're wanting to get like a piece of paper or a newspaper to go ahead and set that form on so it does not stick to the clay bat here, okay? So this is where I'm gonna set right over here onto my table next to me so that once I cut it off, have it really close to be able to set it onto. So first thing, my wheel head is nice and clean. I can see the rings really good. I'm gonna come over to the bucket of water here. Have my sponge filled up with water. I am going to squeeze water all the way around my form on the wheel head. So making sure I have lots of water. Water is going to help get underneath as I cut to be able to slide it off easier. So what I'm gonna do, just take my wire cutter, I put the two wooden things between my fingers and I kind of roll up. I am want the wire to scratch on the wheel head. So it needs to be on the wheel head. If not, it's going to come up and cut through the base and now you don't have a base to be able to trim. So we wanna make sure that it is pushing against that wheel head. So I'm going to start away from me, pull to me. Notice how you can see it kind of cut through. If the base is too thin, the wire will show through as you cut it. So that means that's a project or a piece that you're probably not going to keep. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it one more time. So I cut it through once towards me I am going to do the same thing again. Pull it towards me and notice it kind of starts to move off of that sticky spot of the wheel head so I can easily get it off. Get rid of any sludge you might have on your wire cutter. Place it off to the side. Now I want to take the form and put it over there on that clay bat and newspaper or paper that you have over here. So keep this close by. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of slide it. So notice how I'm sliding it. The water will help with that one hand comes to lip. If you hit the splash paint here, you're going to ruin your form. So make sure your hand comes under. You pick it up carefully, two hands. You can bring your bat over here. Carefully set it on top of that paper. And then your form is here ready to start setting up to get to that leather hard stage so that you can trim. Really make sure that when your form is on here that it has that newspaper so it doesn't stick. Okay, really be careful also not to bend the rim. You bend the rim, your piece is not nice and clean, and it will also be a little bit harder for the trimming process, so be really careful with that. Now, this is where I wanna go ahead and clean the wheel head up. So this part of the clay is where I'm gonna use my rib. I will turn my wheel back on when I'm done using the wire cutter, and then I can go ahead and just scrape this off. So remove it. Remember, I wanna go ahead and put that in the rainbow bin over here with my sponge clean my wheel head once my wheel head is nice and clean then I can grab a new piece of clay and continue to start throwing 